as in the previous implementation of one way data binding we have seen like whenever the business model and the data source is getting changed the change is reflected in the ui but it wasn't vice versa but as the name says two way data binding here we are going to do the same thing in a reverse direction as well that means if we will make any changes in the ui that is in any particular text box or maybe check boxes whichever control you are using the changes will be reflected in the business model as well as in the data source as well so let's see a practical implementation where we are going to implement the two way data binding in a wpf application now to implement the two way data binding i am using the same window as i used in the one way where i have taken a couple of text boxes one is for the source and another for the target whenever i will do any change in the source that will be reflected in the target and similarly if i'll make any change in the target that will be reflected in the source that is what the two way data binding is all about so let's see how to implement that so again likewise i did the changes in the xaml for one way data binding i will do the similar things in the two way so let's see what is there so everything is same like here i am going to bind the text property of my target with the text property of the source so text is equal to binding means i am going to bind something with which control element name is txt source means this text box is will be the source for this text box which property i am going to bind that is the text all right means the text of this particular control will be bound and mode is now is two way all right so let's see how this two way control will work here so let's execute this form this window now if i'll start writing anything in the source like this is sample text all right so as you can see like in the one way data binding also it was the ha same happening but now if i will make any changes out here in the target for now it is not getting reflected but as soon as i will lose the focus from this text box like let's click here you see the changes got reflected similarly this is changed text all right as soon as this text box will lose the focus it will get the data all right why it is happening if you want to make the changes as soon as it is getting changed so you will have to add one more thing here that is update source trigger by default it is lost focus all right but here i will change to property changed so as soon as you will start changing the property the changes will be reflected so let's execute it again and now you can see this is sample text and here in the target what i am going to do i am going to change it like this is changed text all right so as soon as you are doing the changes it is getting reflected in the source as well all right so basically here as you can see if you are making the change in the source target is affected if target is getting changed the source is affected but you can also do like only one way all right now the one way which i'm talking about is basically something different and that is one way to source all right so one time we have seen one way we have seen in the previous chapter just now we went through the two way one more is left that is one way to source all right so one way to source is basically something where the changes of source will not be reflected in the target but definitely when you will make the changes in the target they will be reflected to the source so let's see how it will be done like if i'm writing something here nothing is coming but if i'll start writing here like this is one way to source all right so when you would making the changes in the target they will be reflected but nothing of source will be reflected to the target all right so this is about the bindings in wpf where we have covered the one way one time two way and one way to source form of data bindings